somebody says they don't believe in climate change, I'd like to take them out onto the Arctic ice and sit them there in the summer and see how quickly they vanish under the water. How do you get somebody to realize that we actually are destroying the planet? Uh, I think I, I do it always through stories, never through direct confrontation. Because if you directly confront somebody who's, you know, thinking polar opposite to you, they don't really listen. They're thinking of arguments to refute you. My mother taught me this. She said, when you meet somebody who doesn't agree with you, first thing to do is listen to them. Because maybe they've got a point. Maybe they're doing something you never thought about. But um, if you still feel that, that you're right, then you must have the courage of your conviction. I started our youth program because so many young people were coming up to me and, and they were sort of saying they'd lost hope in the future. And some were depressed, some were angry. Mostly they were just apathetic, not seeming to care. And of course, if you have no hope, then why bother? We haven't been borrowing our children's future. We've been stealing it. We're still stealing it today. One thing you hear all the time is, uh, think globally, act locally. And I say no, twist it around, because quite honestly, if you think globally, you get depressed with the harm we're inflicting. Act locally about something you're passionate about. Might be cleaning a beach, might be campaigning against the use of plastic, volunteering in shelters for stray dogs or cats. I think it's terribly important that young people become involved with what they're passionate about. It's the young people who choose what they want to do. We don't tell them. But they must, between them, between them, the members of the group, choose a project to help people, a project to help animals, and a project to help the environment, because we're all interconnected. There's so much left to do and the situation is so urgent that I have to speed up rather than slow down. My body at some point will prevent me traveling like this. I hope my brain's still working and I can do more writing.